this is a sugar apple and not just any sugar apple check out that color this is a purple sugar apple sometimes called a red sugar apple and this was very very nicely sent to me by miamifruit.org so if you are interested in trying this as well there's information in the description below they sell these online so uh, I'm excited about this because I have reviewed the sugar apple before but I am not satisfied with my review it's been a while this episode is 68 so uh, yeah it's been some time since I reviewed the uh, the green sugar apple I've never had the purple one if these taste exactly the same if there's no difference between this and the other one I'm already thrilled because of how it looks it is very very pretty looking now the green ones are very common it's hard to find ones that are good though so that is something that I've had happen a few times where I'd go to a market in Chinatown I see a bunch of these and they'd all be of questionable quality either like too small or they would rot before they ripen how you can tell that you have a good sugar apple is by the push test if you push it and it yields you see it yielding that's how you can tell it is good without uh, ruining the fruit. So if you're buying it from a market with a green one, purple one, what have you, you're probably not going to find the purple one in a market, let's be honest. But if you see the green one at the market, that's how you can tell if it yields gently the pressure. Once you take them home, if you're waiting for them to ripen on your counter or something, uh, then you can also do the flick test. So you just take one of those little, little guys and you can flick them off. If you can flick off those scales, that's how you can tell it's ready. That is something that you can't do with related species like uh, the cherimoya, or the atomoya, or the soursop. There's a child in my hallway having a tantrum. That's what that is. He's fine. Whenever this kid acts up, his parents throw him in the hallway, and then he like runs up and down the hallway screaming like a banshee, and then they let him back in once he's done throwing a fit. <sighs> now that's parenting. Alright, are they done? Did they take him back in? Nope. Uh, I'll be back. Where was I? Okay, uh, I think he stopped, thank god. Uh, yeah, yeah, so the things, they flick off. As you can see, the inside is not purple. The outside may be purple, inside not purple. I actually have one that's cut open here. There are some varieties that actually do have purple on the inside of varying amounts. So you can get some where it's not just on the outside, it's also on the inside. One thing that is different about sugar apples is that all these seeds on it are segmented. So they come out in little little clumps like that, kind of like, I don't know, like a pomegranate or something? So it's not like a, a cherimoya or a, an atomoya or a soursop where there's a whole lot of flesh with seeds peppered throughout. This thing, every little clump of flesh has a seed in it. Hmm. It is different. It's got like a little bit of like a cinnamon kind of flavor to it, along with the the typical sugar apple kind of taste. That's interesting. Uh, I've never tasted that kind of flavor really in a, an anona fruit before. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Um, the sweetness on that is. Mmm, I'd say like on par with an apple, maybe a little bit less. There's no tartness to it whatsoever. And the flavor on it, it's like a... a cherimoya, but like a little bit different. Now cherimoya, if I could break that down really quick, it's like a whole bunch of tropical tastes. So you get some banana, you get some pineapple, some mango, um some coconut, and you kind of mix those together. This one, it tastes like that, but if you really kind of tweak things around a little bit, it is a little bit more uh, in the direction of banana and coconut. 
I would say. It definitely has like a coconut-ish taste, but not so much like coconut milk or coconut cream. It's more like coconut water, like that nuttiness that you get from like a coconut water. And maybe a little bit like a pear. It's fairly mild. It's not like a strong taste, but it is a good taste. So I guess the big question is, is this better than the green one that I had? And I would say it is better in the sense that it is very different. I think if you like Anona fruits, you will like this for the fact that it has uh, an extra element to it. It has an extra cinnamony, wintergreeny kind of flavor that other Anonas do not have. Uh, that's interesting. Haven't detected that before in a Nona fruit, so I'm grateful to get a chance to try something that is uh, different. I think that's about it. So thanks again, MiamiFruit.org, for sending this to me. Uh, guys, if you want to try this out, you can order these online. They are available in the description below. There's a link to their website where you can get these. Uh, I've got a promo code too, so I'll put that down below as well. And uh, otherwise, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.